All right, and Isabella? All right. So, Henry, we're going to start with your opening statement. Um, you'll have three minutes for that, and your time starts now. Innovation is important to the world. It helps the world move forward and evolve. As Nobel Prize winning scientist Albert Einstein once said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. He's saying that we need to think more and work around our problems. We cannot figure out how to solve our problems with the same thinking that started them. Without innovation, the world would never move forward. Innovation is only making the world a better place to live. The Industrial Revolution helped the world move forward, and more people had new inventions and ideas. More people had jobs and were working every day. Even though some parts of America thought this was bad, this revolution moved America forward. The new ideas also led to new inventions after the Industrial Revolution. One of the jobs was a factory worker, which watched over factories and provided housing and food for their workers. One of the new inventions was the transatlantic cable, which allowed communication from the U.S. to Europe. This was very important as people did not have to travel to talk from long distances. World War I helped the world move forward with warfare, warfare technology. Scientists had, had to think of new ideas to make their side come out on top of the war. One of the new warfare ideas was, was using airplanes, which bombed people from above and could see everything happen. Another invention was the Zeppelin, which could travel fast and carry two tons worth of bombs. With these new inventions, new strategies were thought of. These examples gave an edge to the side that was using them and helped the world move forward with warfare. World War I was a time of ideas and possibilities. At Cary Academy, we all use computers to get our work done and learn more. OneNote is one innovation that has helped us. OneNote helps us stay focused and organized too. OneNote also can help all of our classwork and homework. It is much easier to have almost everything stored on, on a computer and bring that around rather than haul a stack of books for all of our classes. Also, computers will never lose anything while with a backpack or those papers, anything can fall out and get lost. Computers also save time because everything is on it. For example, email, internet, Word, PowerPoint, etc. Using a computer is also helping the environment because every time you take notes or do homework on a piece of paper, you are using a tree. Using computers does not have any effect on trees nor the environment. All around the world, more and more people are, are eating healthier, recycling, and using electric cars. Recycling is a great innovation because of step, instead of throwing something away, you can recycle it and use it again. This causes less pollution and more production. Studies say that over 410,000 electric cars have been made since 2008. Electric cars are a great innovation because they cause way less pollution, and electric cars also help you by not having to stop at a gas station and pay. Instead, you can just plug it in at home and it will charge overnight. As I first said, innovation is only going to move the world forward and make it better. Innovation will never hurt us. All the new ideas and inventions that have happened have sparked other new inventions and ideas. Overall, innovation will always be good. I now stand ready for cross-examination. Isabella, you're going to have two minutes to cross-examine Henry on this topic starting. Do you agree that pollution is bad? Yes. Do you agree that without innovation, there would be substantially less pollution in the world? Yes, but there's um, new inventions like electric cars and uh, more recycling, which um, helps decrease this over time. But without any innovations, there's no pollution to be created. Do you agree? Uh, somewhat. Then if so much of a bad thing is being made because of innovation, is one day in that sense to be bad? Yes, but in the Industrial Revolution, there was a lot of pollution, but um, pollution has decreased a lot since then, so people are working with it. Well, global warming is still coming, and the um, goals that Harris made in 2015 to cut greenhouse emissions, um, NASA research climate um, climate researcher said those weren't nearly ambitious enough and that global warming will still come before that comes into play. And then moving on, do you think that fast foods and processed foods are healthy? No. And that they contribute largely to obesity? Yes. And that obesity comes with many failed health risks? Yes, but people are choosing to eat these foods. Still, then, if people are dying because of fast foods and processed foods, one day as an innovation be bad? Um, yes. Okay. All right, so Isabel, you're going to have three minutes for your opening statement starting now. 
Yes, uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I thought they were back there still. Isabel, I'll let you start over. You can start from the beginning. I apologize. Okay. As more ideas are transformed into danger, it's become the notion that all these inventions are beneficial to humanity. I strongly disagree with this statement. Innovation is always good based on this mindset. Mark Twain was very much correct when he said civilization is a limitless production of unnecessary necessities. The option of innovations, as opposed to rational thinking, can lead to rash or violent decisions. During the French Revolution, there came the invention of the guillotine. Peasants could, and did, kill whoever they pleased. Without this option of instant death, the peasants may have conversed with King Henry VIII and come to an agreement about the rights of the people, saving thousands of lives, many of which had hardly been opposed to peasants, but that did not matter due to the invention of the guillotine. Advancements in technology in Europe brought the idea that Europeans were better than all else. This mindset led to the Atlantic slave trade, which ruined civilizations across Africa that were better off without the guns and warfare they received. Europeans also needed the resources and funds for their innovations. Whether they thought they were better or not, they would not have done what they did in such extremity had they not found those materials so necessary to their survival. Millions of Africans' lives were ruined, if not taken away, an outcome of the arrogance of innovation. Most innovations come with a price. One scarcely occurs without causing a negative corollary. Ever since its beginning, manufacturing is an example of innovation that causes much more harm than good. Back in the Industrial Revolution, multitudes of gory accidents occurred, terrible health risks came with each job, and workers working in living conditions were hardly sustainable. Child labor was abundant and equally horrific as the adults' workload. Though conditions have improved for factory workers today, many goods currently mass-produced are made with non-biodegradable materials, meaning that instead of decomposing in the earth, they set wasted materials for thousands of years. This pollution is causing global warming at an alarming rate. Three to six billion trees are cut down here, roughly the size of Ireland. There is great potential that Earth will eventually be incapable of supporting human life. Not much being produced is even necessary to survival, meaning that these problems are avoidable by simply not having innovations. Innovations in technology and the fast food industry are making humans increasingly obese. Many people would rather spend their time idle on an electronic device and exercise. Another large factor of obesity is that the processed food and the fast food industries progressive become more common. Humans eat less nutritious foods and much more sugar and chemicals. Numerous health risks come with eat, being overweight, including multiple heart diseases, breathing inefficiency, diabetes, osteoarthritis, and many more. Life expectancies of those who are obese may be shortened by as much as 14 years, depending on severity. Almost a decade and a half of someone's life may be taken away because of innovations in the food and technological industries. Therefore, innovation is not always good, as proven by the French Revolution, the Atlantic slave trade, and the manufacturing, technological, and food industries. Thank you. I now see you ready for cross-examination. Okay. Anna, you have two minutes to no, sorry, uh, two minutes to cross-examine Isabella on this topic starting now. Um, don't you agree that new technology creates more possibilities for learning and exploration? It helps make learning easier, yes, but I don't think it necessarily improves the brain's ability to learn and the creation of technology is better for the environment. Um, but new research tools um, help us figure out more things like what's under the earth, um, maybe like what's happened before under the sea, stuff like that. Like that that's helping us figure out more things about what happened before our lives. Does it increase skill? Do you agree? That it helps us discover. So then, um, do, you, do you agree that um, new technology helps bring progression to the world? It helps bring progression and discovering things, yes, but those discoveries may not necessarily be helpful or beneficial to humanity. Okay, moving on. Um, do you agree that the Industrial Revolution creates lots of jobs and opportunities for the world? So, um, it produced jobs for people who didn't have jobs? Well, they could have worked as farmers, so they had an alternative. But it um, still gave new opportunities, second chances, second chances for the poor, right? Yes. So then, you agree that Industrial Revolution helped the world move forward? Do you agree that World War One produced new warfare warfare ideas and inventions? Yes. Um, so, uh, do you agree that um, World War One helped the 
more progress with new ideas for warfare? Yes, but I don't think warfare is necessarily um, necessary because if there weren't any innovations, people wouldn't nearly fight as much and want to be in these weapons. Ten. Okay, you each have one minute to prepare for your closing. So Henry, we're gonna open, or we're gonna begin your floating statement here. You're gonna have one minute uh, for that, and then I'll start. As I stated before, innovation is always good. Help the world progress, evolve, while making the world world a better place to live. Our school recycling, electric cars, World War One, etc., are only some of the many examples showing that that the world is progressing every day. My opponent argued that trees were being cut down and used for paper, and I agree. But as I stated before, new technology is helping decrease this, decrease this such as computers, tablets, etc. As Nobel Prize winning scientist Albert Einstein once said, we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used to create. Thank you. Okay, Isabella, you're going to have. One minute for your closing, starting now. Merely because something exists and works does not mean it's good. There are numerous examples of setbacks throughout history and world problems today, such as the guillotine, Atlantic slave trade, industrial revolution, manufacturing, and food production. My opponent argued that you cannot solve problems with the same thinking that created them. However, innovations most likely created these problems, whether directly or indirectly. Therefore, without innovation in the first place, you would not have these problems. My opponent also argued that Less trees are being cut down as new technologies are being created. However, the manufacturing of these technologies is not necessarily eco-friendly, and as they increase, that increases pollution. So even as one problem is solved, another comes up. Technological progress has merely provided us more efficient means for going backwards. All this time. If y'all could bring me your opening statement, that'd be great. Thank you so much. Do you need to speak in front of